Hi, welcome, Dina here, and today we're going to take a look at the Daniel Smith Jean Haynes Master Artist Set. I've had this on my wish list for quite a while, and I received it for Christmas. And we're just going to take a look a little bit at the color spread on here, and maybe try a little painting with it. So the colors that come with this are Cascade Green, Nickel Azo Yellow, Green Appetite Genuine, Aussie Red Gold, Opera Pink, Moon Glow, Quinacridone Magenta, Undersea Green, Imperial Purple, and Lunar Blue. So I have used the Opera Pink, uh, Quinacridone Magenta, and Undersea Green previously, but all the other colors here are new to me. Now I do usually squeeze out the tubes into half pans like this set. Um, but I do need to get some more empty half pans, so we're just going to use a little you know, petal tray today to squeeze out a little samples of our paints, a little temporary palette. And I'll probably use my porcelain mixing tray just to, if I want to mix any colors. Um, these are all Daniel Smith paints in here, so we won't be compromising the paint integrity at all. Alright, so here's our colors. These are coming in the 5 milliliter set. We're just going to squeeze just a little bit because this palette does not have very high walls. We don't want our colors to get too muddy together. Let's just squeeze these out and see how they look. All right, there's our paints. Just by looking at our spread initially, this is definitely a um, floral landscape kind of set. Um, Jean Haynes has a very beautiful loose style. Based on our color spread here, we don't really have a good blue. Lunar blue is very dark blue. We don't have a good bright blue, so maybe not as um, good for like landscapes. This would definitely be a beautiful set for greenery and florals, and I would maybe add another blue, uh, maybe like a cobalt blue, if we were doing a landscape. And let's just kind of swatch these colors out a little bit. I'm going to use my favorite Blick Masterstroke Red Sable in size 8. And I'm just using uh, some kind of mid-tier Fabriano paper. Um, this is a cold press watercolor paper, it has a lot of nice texture. Um, this one, I believe, is not 100% cotton, it's 25% cotton, and it's one of my favorite um, kind of practice papers. I have my water jars, my very dirty paper towel substitute, but that's okay. And let's just kind of swatch these colors out, starting with the Nickel Azul Yellow. I'm not familiar with using a couple of these colors, including Nickel Azo Yellow. That is one I had not previously had in my collection. And I also really like this Aussie Red Gold. Not a color I was familiar with, but it looks really nice. A lot more of a deep yellow than I was expecting, but definitely a fan of that. Alright, this next one, I have to look at my colors here, is the Quinacridone Magenta, and this is a color I'm very familiar with. Nice, beautiful, bold magenta color. And speaking of bold, this set has the boldest pink known to man, which is opera pink. Opera pink is that beautiful Barbie pink. Very strong and powerful color, very uh, pigmented color. I have it from um, Blick. Maybe I'll do a comparison of the Daniel Smith versus the Blick one, but this that opera pink. 
All right, now we're gonna move into, I believe it's one of our purples. This is Imperial Purple. A very cool purple. A little darker than I was expecting. That one definitely reminds me of like a pansy. And I've been wanting this color for a long time. This is Moon Glow. It looks kind of like a purpley Payne's Gray. Kind of one of those darker ends of the spectrum colors. And I know I'm not really swatching properly here, just trying to get a little, little bit of the color on the paper. All right, next we have another one from that kind of like celestial line from Daniel Smith. This is Lunar Blue. This is the only blue hue in this particular set. Got a little bit of a watery mix on here. Let's add a little bit more paint. Definitely a nice earthy blue. I don't know if that's the right word, but I'm definitely a fan of that for like some sort of nighttime setting. And we have three greens. I believe this first one is the green Appetite Genuine. Oh, and this is my kind of green. I love green golds. I kind of want to see how this one compares to green gold. This green appetite genuine is not a color I've used before, but it is quite nice looking. And then two last greens. This one looks like a cooler green. This is cascade green. Oh, it looks like this green appetite genuine is a little bit of a granulating green, or I don't think cascade green is. So this is much more of a blue-green. And last, I also do have the big tube of undersea green, which I'm very familiar with as a nice granulating green as well. I frequently use this one for trees and landscapes, and it does give a nice granulating effect. Alright, so just a couple of comparisons I want to do while I have these paints on here. Um, so this is the Jean Haynes set, and I just want to compare two colors here. Um, this is green gold from Daniel Smith. This is probably my favorite green. I'm just curious on how this compares to that green appetite genuine because green gold is probably my favorite green. So this is definitely a lot warmer and a lot lighter. I was thinking this was going to be pretty similar, but these are actually, um, you know, not as close as I thought they were going to be. So I definitely am glad I have that green appetite genuine to add to my collection. And then out of curiosity, I also wanted to compare just to do a little comparison of the Blick Opera Pink. So this one right here is the Blick House brand in Opera Pink. And I just want to see how that compares to the Daniel Smith Opera Pink. I do find it interesting sometimes different brands, the colors are slightly different. I'm definitely getting a little bit of a cooler side of the Blick brand one versus the um, Daniel Smith is way more of that Barbie hot pink color. So interesting to have that range of colors here in our palette. So things right here are the paints from this set. And let's do just Let's see, a little kind of a floral scene just to test them out. I'm a little bit stiff, I feel like, in my painting. I haven't really been painting the last few days for the holidays. Um, I was painting a little bit while on vacation, and then since I've been home, I haven't really picked it back up. 
So we're just gonna paint some kind of florally shapes, not really going for anything in particular here. Just wanna kind of test this out. As always with Daniel Smith, I am loving the way that these paints move on the paper. Now this paper is not 100% cotton, so it does, oh, it picks up all the yellow there. I need to make sure I'm using clean water. <laughs> um, it does dry kind of fast and the paper does um, you know, not really hold a ton of water. But we're just using this as our testing medium here. I'm just trying to drop in a little bit more of that quinacrono magenta. And maybe we'll go a little bit more of the yellow to kind of spread a little bit. I do like that spread effect. So a lot of these Daniel Smith colors kind of have that I don't know, pushing power or one color kind of pushes into the other. And let's make a stem here with the green appetite. Appetite, I keep saying appetite, ap appetite. I know, I'm not the best with my uh, pronunciations. This is definitely a very floral friendly kit. I want to say this set of 10 colors runs about $60. For Daniel Smith, $6 per tube is a pretty good price uh, for the 5 milliliter tubes. Remember, Daniel Smith colors do come in the 15 milliliter and the 5 milliliter. I definitely recommend the um, 15 milliliter if it's a color you know you'll use a lot. If it's something that you're more testing out, I do recommend the five milliliter tubes. I'm gonna try mixing a little bit of the Cascade Green with the Nickel Azul Yellow to get a nice warm green, more akin to that green gold color I'm so fond of. Now let's try just painting a tree. Maybe let's drop in a couple of darker greens. It's gonna highlight our tree. I feel like this paper is not something I'm as used to, but I got a big pad of this Barbriano paper for Christmas, so we're just testing it out. I'm hoping it's a good kind of testing paper, something that's a medium quality. We're not quite using arches just for playing around, but we're still using something that can do a little bit of the effects we want. Let's try another um, tree shape just for fun here. They're nice evergreen color. I feel like I'm definitely using too big of a brush for the size I'm working with. Let's go for that kind of northwest blue. Kind of tree here. And let's paint just one more um flower shape let's go something with like a we'll use moon glow for a kind of a dark center
We're gonna go for a nice sunflower-esque shape as long as I'm not encroaching on my other flower too much. I wanna say the color flower on the box is this beautiful, very loose, expressive sunflower. Jean Haynes definitely has that style of the loose, expressive painting. Uh, I'm a big fan of hers and I've been wanting to try out a couple of her books on watercolor. So if you have tested out her books or have another favorite watercolor book, let me know. Um, I do love learning from books. And I'm looking for my kind of painting watercolor reading list for the year. So if you have any great recommendations for painting books, watercolor books, let me know. Maybe we'll mix just a tiny bit of this quinacrino magenta for a little bit of a brighter color. I'm definitely a fan. Just gonna see around with this set very briefly. I can definitely see um, some future paintings, some inspiration of some very nice, uh, some nice loose florals. Um, I'm loving the range here of the yellow and pink colors and green. Um, see where this set is lacking is in blue, so definitely um, need to add something into this. If you are using it for things like a landscape, but overall, big fan of this set. You'll definitely see it in future paintings.